Hello and thank you for watching. In this CGTube tutorial we're going to tackle something that seems complicated but it's actually pretty easy. Uh, what we're going to tackle here is we're going to put multiple materials on one object. Now for the sake of making this easy we are going to use a simple cube so we will press shift A and we will drop a cube into our scene. Now for this one we're not going to need cameras or lighting so I'm I'm not going to delete them but I'm just going to press H to hide those and now they're out of our way. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate the menu to the left by pressing T, the menu to the right by pressing N. I'm sure if you're this far with Blender you probably already know this but I really try to stay in the habit of sharing the key presses with people. Uh, for some reason, my screencast doesn't want to work, so it's not displaying for me. Uh, the option has actually eliminated itself from my menu somehow. Uh, so I will just tell you what keys I'm pressing as we go. Anyway, back to it. We're going to press 1 to get our front view and 5 for orthographic view. And that just gives us a little cleaner surface to look at because we don't have the distortion of perspective. Everything stays the same size. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to UV unwrap this also. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the UV image editor. I'm going to right click the top portion of the screen and split the area and go to the bottom left corner and open up my UV image editor and control mouse wheel to zoom in so that we can see a little uh, it's probably not necessary to go to the level of detail that I'm going to with this uh, to do the multiple materials on different sides, but I like to do it this way for the sake of demonstration because it shares a little bit more about the control that you can get with UV unwrapping and how much easier it is to organize and keep track of. So here we go. We're going to press tab in our edit mode, and you can see that we have all of our edges are highlighted. Uh, where if you look down at the bottom here of the 3D viewport, you'll see my mouse cursor. We are in vertex mode. Um, we are going to make a seam on every single edge. So we're going to press Control E. That brings up our seam menu. We're going to click Mark Seam, and then we'll press A so we can look at the cube. And if you look, you can see that we have red edges all the way around the cube and every red edge indicates a seam for UV unwrapping. So now we will press A again to select. We will press U and click unwrap and to the left you can see our UV image editor 0 to 1 space has now been populated by the faces of our cube. And uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to go to the right hand side of the screen to this menu and we are going to grab the material tab and when we click the material tab you'll see it shows cube and just above that in the hierarchy you'll see it shows cube that is the name of our object and below cube in the materials tab you'll see a window that has nothing in it that indicates that we have no material assigned to the cube whatsoever. So um, I think it's important to understand that when you're dealing with an object, when you create an object, because you've made an object doesn't necessarily mean that the object has a material that can have any kind of a surface texture, image, or appearance attached to it. You have to create that material before you can actually attach uh, the image texture or you know paint a texture, whatever it is that you want to do to it. So now we have it unwrapped, but we have no material. So to the right of this little window, we're going to press the plus sign. And that gives us a material slot, but no material. Uh, below this, you'll see that it populated a button that says New. And if we click that New button, that creates a material in that window in that material slot. And our mouse falls right on top of the actual naming window for that so we will click that and I'm going to name it side 1 even though it's going to be assigned to the entire cube because I will initially or will eventually only use this for the front face of the cube um, so the reason why I say that this is assigned to the entire cube is very simple because it is it's the only material we've created in the scene so Blender has automatically attached it to every face in the scene so if I tab 
or I'm sorry, press A to deselect and make sure that I look in this window here where my material is and I have side one selected. Below that window, I have select. And if I press select, it selects all the faces of the cube because that material is assigned to every face on the cube. And it's only selecting what is associated with the material that is selected in the window above. Now, we're going to add three more materials. I said we're going to do four sides, so we will add one, two, three material slots. And then we're going to do the same thing with these material slots that we did with the first one here. And we're going to create a new material in slot two. And we're going to name that side two. We're going to create a new material in slot three and name that side three. And a new material in slot four and name that side four. Now we have all of our materials are set up, but only one material is assigned. And this is important because if you don't assign the material, the material won't really have any value, it won't really have any effect. So you have to make sure that you assign it to the faces that you want. So we're going to make sure we're in the right spot. We're going to press 1 to make sure we're on the front view. And we're going to make the front face side 1. So we don't have to do anything with that because the side 1 material is applied to the entire cube already. So we're just going to turn it a little bit so we can see the right side of the cube here. And we are going to press Control Tab to bring up our selection menu. And we're going to go into face mode. And we're going to right click and select the right face of the cube. Then we're going to click side 2. And we are going to assign the side 2 material to that side. Now it doesn't look like anything's happened. but I can show you a really easy way to make sure that it did. If you go down to the bottom of your 3D viewport, you'll see this little object here. This is your mesh display. And if you click this, you can go to material. If you click the material display, now you're displaying all the materials that are available on the object. And you can see again, it doesn't look like anything's happened yet. But back over here under our materials tab, if we go below the window, you can see a color slot. If you just click in the open field of the color, you'll open up a window. And you can adjust the color just by clicking and dragging. So we're just going to make this one bright red so that we know that material is there. So now we have side two is done. So now we already have multiple materials on one object. We have now I'm going to deselect with A, and I'm going to click Side 1 and press Select. Now you can see Side 1 now only selects five sides because the one side is no longer assigned to Side 1. It's now assigned to Side 2. If I click Deselect, it will deselect everything, and when I click Side 2 and select, I only get Side 2. I'm going to deselect that and I'm going to do one more little demonstration. If I click side 3 and hit select, it does nothing. And if I hit side 4 and hit select, it does nothing. And that's what I meant about the materials having no value if they're not actually assigned to anything. So let's move on and go to the back of our cube. And we are going to select side 3. Oh, and this is important to note also. If you look to the right, to the actual material tab. If I select anything that is associated with side one, that will automatically reselect the side one material. It automatically selects the material that's associated with that side. So be really careful when you're doing this to make sure that when you select a side, you always go back to the material tab and select the material that you want to assign to that side before you click assign, or you might get ahead of yourself and you might get caught up in things that snowball out of control when you're doing this a lot. Okay, so we're going to click Assign for this one. We're going to go to the color and we're going to change this one to a deep blue. And now we have three materials assigned to our cube. Now we're going to go to our left side 
and again you can see when I click the left side it selected side one because it's still associated with the initial material that we created for the object. So now we're going to select side four, we're going to click assign, we're going to go down to our color, and we're going to change this one to a bright green. So now we have four materials on one object. And all of this is really, really, really simple. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on my next video.